Welcome back, family, friends, and fans. It's Karma Lately. Recently, I was talking to you guys about these newspaper rolls. And um, I'll just take a couple of these out. They're all from different newspapers, different shapes. I mean, different uh, widths and lengths. And I make sure that they're very colorful because I tend to use them in their authentic uh, state but sometimes I do paint over them so it kind of has like this comic booky kind of feel but depending on the colors like I have a lot of different colors to choose from so if I'm looking for a specific color for a project I can always um, pick and choose um, if I'm trying to stay within a certain color scheme I can always um, play around that way I want to show you guys how I do this and this is not my technique this is something that I learned from uh, another from other youtubers many there are many people who do this technique I am however going to show you ways in which you can use these um, that I have not seen before Actually, they like these colors on this front cover. Got one DMC. And I ripped that, but that's okay. So you can roll it with the length like this, with this long length, and just do it diagonal, or you can cut it here. Now I have this wooden dowel. It's kind of like um it's one of those uh skewer picks. Um oh, what do you call these? You know what I'm talking about. Um like a wooden skewer thing. So you're going to take the edge of the paper And you don't glue it um, or nothing. You just roll it out. Now, sometimes when you roll it, see all the colors that I wanted? They're just dis they're disappeared into stripes. And I have a couple of those because I do like the stripes. I think that's cool. But I don't always want the stripes. So what I try to do is either stop while I'm ahead or tilt it in a different way. I slant the wood a little bit more. Now let's see what this gives us. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just wish it wasn't broken. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't want that broken piece. To get all those colors, like you kind of you almost don't want to slant it much. You want to just then you have all the color there so depending on the effect that you want you can also try not to rip it this time right you can use the length going across like that and you would just take the end And you would roll. I like to slowly take this out. Take out the, the wooden dowel. Just because you don't want it to stay stuck in there. Especially because this piece is so long. So I, little by little I start taking it out. And... Um, And 
now. And this is very sturdy. Take this out. And now you have this. And I want to see how long that is. That is 22 inches long. That's a long piece. So that's how you do it. I'm going to do one more. One more piece. Oh, look at that guy. Wayne Brady. He's awesome. Now, you can stop here if this is what you want. Like... By all means, you know, you can stop wherever it is that you want, like the design that you want. So you can stop here and you can cut. Now what I would do, now I've done this with regular like tacky glue. Um, obviously with the hot glue it's just a lot faster. You just have to be willing to burn a little to get that flat look. This one is not as tightly co coiled together, but that might be what you're looking for. So that's that. So now in terms of recycling, I like the idea of, I already pre-cut this, I just cut it like that, and I kind of want this part on the top. One thing that we can definitely do, hmm. By reversing it, then this comes out in the front, which is what I wanted. So that's actually perfect. Because then I get my little window on the top part of the front cover versus on the bottom. So that's perfect. And then... Hmm... So I'm going to be using this piece of paper. It reminds me of newspaper. Um, so I kind of wanted this for the inner part.
So guys, this is something that I have not yet seen on YouTube. Uh, it's something that I came up with when doing this um, technique with the newspapers. Okay, so I thought I was going to be able to salvage this plastic, but I'm not going to. Um, there were a lot of mistakes with this whole area, and so I kind of want to fix it. Um, just want to make this straight. I'm using my craft knife. All right, so some pieces got a little squared off, but that's fine because I'm going to cover this area. And um, so we were not able to salvage that plastic, but that's cool. Plastic is not really what we're going for anyway. I just wanted to save and preserve the authenticity of the, um, the pasta box. So this is, I've never seen this done before. And I'm really proud to say that um, it's one of my bookbinding techniques. I absolutely love this. It um, does give a lot of dur durability, but we're going to add more durability. Before we do that, I want to cover this. So I don't, I'm not going to glue it. I need a bigger piece. So I'm going to just get some canvas. And oh, this might be... Oh, nice. This might be the perfect size. Huh. So what I would want, I would want to write something here, but, hmm. I guess, hmm. I can't decide just yet what I want to do, how I want to, maybe I want to do this with double-sided tape in case I change my mind. Um. You could write something here, or you could write something here or both. Then... We're going to make, this is really sturdy, like now this feels, it feels heavy, it feels weighted, and it feels very sturdy. But we're going to make it even sturdier by taking our homemade Mod Podge. So this is it guys. I'm going to leave it drying in this position so that it doesn't glue like this and then I won't be able to open it and then I'll force it. So I'm going to let it dry in this position like this. I think that's fine. As long as this opening here and this opening here are not glued down. With the other side so that is my tutorial on how you can take recycled newspaper and what you can do with this recycled newspaper now I have a couple of other things that I'll show you guys over time um, that I've come up with sorry my newspaper rolls are falling out um, but yeah I enjoy the process of recycling everything and um, I don't have a lot this is all the newspaper that I have so once this is done then um, and I have like one or two open newspapers 
once I'm done with all my projects and with um, this batch, then I'll create a new batch and I'll get more newspaper. And it's so easy to get free newspapers in the street, on the train. Um, there's newspaper stands. If you want a nice bulky, you know, nice bulky one, you could just pay, uh, what is it, 50 cents? I don't know how much, but it's like cheap on Sunday, get the nice big one. And by the way, this piece right here, that's actually a magazine. It kind of snuck in my batch of the newspaper, but you can do this also with magazine papers and um, music sheets, um, sheet music, uh, regular book pages. You can do this with anything that you can roll up. So that's how it came out this is the inside and now your book is ready to get some pages I hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment I want to hear your thoughts on it please like and subscribe I'm gonna have a lot more videos like this one keep crafting enjoy the journey it won't be perfect just have a great time I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.